Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? I feel like I'm just doing Happy Mail lately. But I do want to share Happy Mail with you guys. And it's what I'm doing right now, so I figured... And plus I do Happy Mail um, videos often. So this is from my friend, Lisa Beard. And I'm excited. Where did it come from? Where is she? I know she's on a farm. Where is she on a farm at? Oh, I see. Ohio. Alrighty. Ooh. And I'm kind of like, uh, um, sorry if I'm going to be all over the place. I apologize. But we've had a crazy week. Very, very insane week. Sorry about that. Let's do some more cutting. Alright. I'm super excited to see what's in here. Usually I would keep that paper, but right now I'm keeping an eye on Miko. If you guys know who Miko is, Miko is my seven-year-old dog. And she accidentally scooted her butt and got a foxtail in her two glands. They became, um, I think they're called cysts. I'm not sure right now. She had an operation, which was not cheap, which... I'll be paying for, uh, and it's going to take me a good year to pay for. Anyways, so she's fine. She's she's quite healthy, so she's good, but she had major surgery to have those foxtails removed. They didn't even know they were going in for foxtails. They found them after. Anyways, they thought, and now she has drains in her, oh, I know what exactly what she has, drains, but at this point in time, my head's done with, and I want to get to the happy meal, but just wanted to update you guys why I haven't been around. Anyways, people will be fine, you know my animals are my life, just, just like my kids. Anyways, let's get this going. So I'm going to be looking back and forth because I need to keep an eye on Miko. But, let's see what this is. I have no stinking clue. But she wrapped it up nicely. <gasps> Actually, I do have a clue just by feeling it. It's going to be one of those awesome craft boxes that I wanted and I want more of because they're amazing. I love them. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Lisa. Oh, I hope there's soap in here. I hope there's soap in here because we used up all the doggy soap. And the other soaps I'm not using. I actually have them in my closets. Oh, I smell something. I smell some kind of herbs like sage, rosemary. I smell something really good in here. So I have the other soaps. This is the box I'm talking about. I love these boxes. This is perfect. Add on to my craft supplies. Thank you, Lisa. I'm keeping the other soaps to make my closet smell good. And it does. And I smell something yummy in here. And I've never seen purple bubbly paper. Bubbly wrap. Whatever that's called. Ooh, something smells so good. Oh my god, look at the way she wrapped this. Oh, Lisa, by the way, I sent you um, two PC chips on keychains. Those are for maybe your husband or your son. I forgot to put notes in yours, um, but you have notes in mine. Oh, she sent me ATC, ATCs from challenge number four from the Pink Poodle Playground group. 
Yay, 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 oh my goodness, oh something smells so good, and yes, 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 shine, oh my, I think I'm going to glaze this, put a little notch here, and put it, I don't think, I know I am, I'm going to put a little notch here so I can hang this on my wall, this one is amazing. All, all about my aesthetic. This is awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Sea and the Sun, Series 6. I got num card number 6 from Lisa Beard. Oh my goodness. I'm wondering what smells so good in here. Oh, handmade doily from my local woman on Oracoc, or Oracoke Island. Ooh, I love doilies. Don't have many, but I love doilies. Oh my goodness. And I love how you made the safety pin white. I love I love touches like that. I'm gonna put this back on. Because I like to share my happy meal with my kids and husband and the dogs. This is beautiful. And you know what I'm gonna do with this? I'm gonna hang it over my lamp. This is gorgeous. Look at the detail. I could never, ever think of being able, wow, to do this. Look at that. You guys see that? That's a major detail there. This is gorgeous. I'm going to put it, actually, I want to put this back so I can tell my husband, that, but I Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start fooling around. Just going to do it like that. Put it on the side. I love the card. Oh, we're we sharing tassels now. Yay! Oh, hers is nice and heavy. Turquoise, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stones. That is a huge um, end cap. I love that. <laughs> Nico's doing fine. Um, wow. Beautiful. I have the same piece right here. This this piece you have here, I have this same piece. But that mine came off a of blouse. I don't know if yours came off a of blouse. Mine came off a of blouse. I love that. Beautiful. Oh my god. Look at her ends. She did more to her ends than I have. Oh, that's a great idea. She put beads on the ends. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that one. She actually wrapped it with copper. Look at that. Okay, we got those two. That one. She did a beautiful job. I sent her a tassel also. I sent her some feathers. Look at how beautiful that is. I hope she sent me some feathers. Although we were not trading or anything. I have sh it was just a kindness. Uh, RAC, I think it's called. Look at that. That's beautiful. How about I get you guys closer? Oh, look at that. I think my husband's going to steal this. He loves pirate stuff. Beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Very good idea. I think on some of my tassels I hung bells and feathers. Look at that lace. That's just gorgeous. Oh, very pretty. We have some of the same fabric. I have this one here too, which was a skirt I think I had at one time. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, that's a, is that a real penny? How do you cut a heart into a penny? I love that. Oh, I love the evil eye. I was just talking about the evil eye with um, Stacy, as a matter of fact. That would be a very pretty bracelet. But I'm not going to take this apart. That is gorgeous. It reminds me of an octopus. 
all of this is gorgeous. Thank you so very much. Look at these little dainty daisies. Love that. Let's see. I don't want to pull too much. I'm actually going to hang this in my art room. I love this. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Let's see what's in here. There's a little note in there. But look at this. What's in here? What's in here? Oh my, 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 my. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How did you know I collect these? How did you know I collect these? Look at. I find them randomly and I collect them. And you sent me one. And I'm a Pisces. And I love stuff like this. I love this, the, the earth, the sky, planets, the ocean. I love the ocean. Oh, I love this. Love that. Beautiful. It's a treasure. Oh my gosh, I love that whole idea. It's a treasure. I oh, love that. I want to read this. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, those were from the beach. I think she took a vacation and she went to the beach. If I'm mistaken, I'm sorry, but I, I have a feeling that's where they're from. Oh, thank you for sharing your stash. Oh yeah, travel bro brochures are a must-have. Huh. Oh, lots of love back to you, Lisa. Thank you. Oh, she's going to send me another box. Oh my god, it's going to be from the farm box. What? I was just talking about these. They are super duper duper expensive online. And I think they're called what a cowbell or um oh I should look here, a Tibetan bell. A nana bell nana bells. These complete these completely handmade bells are very distinctive from other bells due to the secret family formula of melting various metal and adding the hand hued wood clapper to make a metallic and echoing tone for generations the formula has been passed on from one family member to another the individual churning of each bell creates the unusual resonant sound ring them and you will hear the melodious melodious echo to soothe and calm you. Handmade in India. This is the NM Nanabells. I was just talking about this. <laughs> to Stacy. I was talking about the evil eye to Stacy. We were just talking about doilies. It's so strange. When you sent me the little turtle, blows my mind. I want this, and I've been wanting this, in my house for the longest time, and it's actually best sound in the world to me other than the sound of my kids and animals this sound is beautiful I love that I have an idea I think I'm going to try my best to put this together somehow together Yes. I need this in my life right now. Thank you so very much. So, so very much. That is amazing. Alright. This soap wasn't made by me, but it smells divine. Yes, it does. <gasps> Woodstock 1969. Patchouli. I knew it was some kind of herb. Patchouli and landol wood. Wow. Pretty Baby Naturals P.O. Box and it's a www.prettybabynatural.com This smelt up the whole box. <sighs> I think
think this is going in the living room. A sensory flashback. Treat from 1969 time capsule. In summers to re remember, this is Jim's favorite soap. Hydrating, moisturizing, and rich. Contains vitamin E, sandalwood, and patchouli. I love those smells. Marbled with cinnamon ginger. Yes, and ginger. And ginseng. I love ginseng. Made with saponophile, olive, coconut, and palm kernel oil. If you guys want to buy this, there's the website. You won't be upset. That smells gorgeous. Thank you. <sighs> this is like a very soothing box. I so needed this. It was so stressful to have Miko go into surgery. It was very stressful. As a matter of fact, I had a panic attack and it lasted for over an hour. It was terrible. Terrible. This is a soothing box. Thank you so very much, Lisa. I love it. How does that not make a theme? You've got the bell. Beautiful tassel. The ocean. The sun. Handmade doily. And some patchouli. That's, that's a spa all in one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seashells from Okra Coke Island. Yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm more than positive you were just there. I was seeing pictures on Facebook. I seen pa pictures on Facebook. I need to take a look at me. Oh, hang on. Yeah, she's fine. Let's look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. You guys know, I use an actual seashell as my palette. If you've watched some of my videos in the past when I've painted, I, you guys see me, I hold my palette and I paint with it. And this is the other side of my palette, which is all painted up. So I am all about seashells around me. Oh my goodness, so now I have new seashells. Oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I'm shaky. Because uh, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Beautiful. It actually has a hole in it too. So I can... Oh, I can dangle something from there. Or I can dangle this from something. That is beautiful. Lisa, thank you. I'm sniffing them. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of, for some reason, a dog's nose. Oh, it's so pretty. So beautiful to think, who knows how long these have been in the ocean, and then they come up to shore. Who knows how old those are. Oh, I love that rock. Oh, you know what, and love this. It's very unique. I was talking to Stacy and Janet Mars about, um, look at, this could be one of those rubbing stones for keeping calm. I um, was talking to Janet and Stacy about replicating seashells somehow. And, and, and it's, this is very soothing. I think I'll keep that one out. I'm actually going to keep all of these out. Look how beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. It looks like it has double seashell on it. So beautiful. Ooh. Now that's my favorite. Yes, please. All day. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Hmm, that's so pretty. I love this. I have given my daughter one of these before. So for me to have one is nice. But look at this one. 
Very beautiful. Oh, I love the colors. There's little seashells inside the cracks. That is so cool. This is nice. This is going to stay out right here with me. So, oh, look at this napkin. Let me get... I think it was a little bit of sand, which is awesome. Music note napkin. Never seen that before. That is so super cool. Thank you for sharing. This is gorgeous. I don't think I would ever, ever, ever use this in mixed media or anything like that. I love it. And then here's just a piece of fabric. I think this is going to get sewn into a journal that is beautiful thank you for sharing and this is gorgeous i this reminds me of the postcard you sent me where which is right behind me Ooh. i was asking to trade seeds um seeds flower seeds for my garden oh Nice. The legend of the Joe Bell. Joe Bell is a local name of brightly colored daisies. As a matter of fact, I was asking to trade daisies. Oh my God. Not with Lisa, with another person. Um, Daisy-like perennials, um, which grow in profusion of okra coke. Very nice. According to the popular legend, the original flower seeds were brought here by a man named Joe Bell. He came to Okra Coke, lovesick and brokenhearted because his lady loved his his lady love had married another. He moved here to escape his broken heart. He planted flower seeds until one day he was found lying dead, aw, in a patch of the beautiful blooms. Locals lore says that he that as long as Joe Bell continues to bloom on okra coke, so does the spirit of a man named Joe Bell. That is an amazing story there. Fred Malison, Malison, the nephew of Mr. Bell, says that while his uncle did bring um, Gallardi seeds to the outer banks, he was not. It was not because of a broken heart. However. They may have arrived. Joe Bell's our favorite flowers are on okra coke. They thrive in our dry, sandy soil and flourish in the hot summer sun. That's perfect here in California. That's a nice story. Planting instructions. Uh, seed indoor. In the spring, plant outside. Thank you so much, Lisa. I think that that is amazing. This whole package is... Oh! <gasps> Oh, perfect for me. Oh my gosh. I love Day of the Dead. Sugar Skulls. Thank you for giving me two because I'm so, like, always wanting two. So I can mess with one and keep one natural. Thank you so much. Beautiful. So I will keep one natural, like this one, because I love the imperfections here and then I will play with this one nice 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 oh look at this I love that I love 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 that what is this what is this the giving bowl your giving bowl in its hand printed bag were created by one of the artisans of Loring Orth and Company. We are we are potters from Alexandria, Virginia. Whether you are the giver or the receiver, I'm the receiver, oh my goodness, we hope that you both draw, derive pleasure from this unique gift. Each and every giving bowl is crafted by hand without using molds. That's That's amazing. No two are ever exactly alike. One of the reasons why we call it the Giving Bowl is because we donate a percentage of our profit from the sale of each bowl to an animal rescue charity. Oh my goodness, Lisa. Thank you so much. Printed on recycled paper. 
Oh my gosh. These are signs to me. Miko is going to be perfectly, perfectly fine. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I am so grateful. Guess what we're going to keep in here. Oh my goodness. And when I need good energy, I could do this and this. Oh my goodness, Lisa, thank you so much. I'm going to keep these together so that I can show my husband and he can have the spiritual uh, feelings that I'm actually having right now. Thank you. Oh my goodness. What is this? Happy Feet Soap. Oh, <laughs> goat's milk, cocoa butter with pumice. I don't know how to say that. Strawberry guava scent. Mmm, I love me some guavas. I love guavas. Let, look at that. Oh my god. <sighs> smells really good. It smells just like guava and strawberries. Very, very nice. That's going to be my special soap. And I think I'll use it for my feet, as a matter of fact. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, my daughter, Jackie... Is, has an intern job right now and I she'll be getting paid and her first check I asked her if she would take me for my first pedicure and she said yes so my feet need some help so I'm hoping that'll help too for my aftercare right thank you Lisa look at all of these brochures you sent me which are super cool and if you're interested in soaps from Lisa, her soaps are amazing. You might want to contact her. I don't know if she does sell them. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll ask. This is super cool. Uh, Lancasterhistory.org. I'm going to see a few. Would you marry that man? Ha <laughs> ha. Let me check on Miko. She's fine. She's asleep. She's on her pain meds right now. Fun filled snack factory tour. That's super cool. I wonder where this is at. They smell just like the soap. PA. Hmm. That's nice. Ooh, that's beautiful. I love all that stuff. So these are going to be fun. Oh, that one's cool. Virginia. Super cool. These are going to be fun to play with in my mixed media. Oh, that's gorgeous right there. That's super cool. Roxy's Antiques. Black Road Shop. That looks like an amazing shop to go into. Love pottery. Huh, discover the charm of classic accommodations. Okra Island, North Carolina. That's awesome. Wine and Spirits. That one's a very nice one. I'll look at these later with my husband. Very cool. Oh, that's a nice one too. Oh, I love the paper. Very nice. Oh, thank you. She sent me some die cuts. Is that what they're called? Die cuts? I think so. There's a key in there. Very nice. I love that. Look at that. Nice. I've seen women use or have this one. I don't have I don't have none of these actually at all. All I have is the skull and three uh, random die plates. And that's it. I don't have very many. They're quite expensive. Very nice. Beautiful and beautiful. So when I got the machine, what is it called? <sighs> Cropodile? No. I don't not that one. And I got the machine that cuts these dies. I didn't know that 
it was so expensive to buy the plates. So I only have a few plates, but I, I love the machine and I love the plates I have and thank you so much for these. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. I may appear harmless, but inside I'm completely badass. Very true. I love this. This is going on my fridge. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what is this? In a bloom sticker. That is so cute. It's a sticker. Very cute. Very, very cute, actually. What are these? Oh, you know I love dogs so much. Oh, this whole package is a blessing. This whole package is just screaming. This was for you. So catered to me. So, so on point to me. Like beyond words. Thank you so very much, Lisa. So, so very much. The box, everything. Everything, everything, everything. The thought that went into this box, everything. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wait, don't fall over. I want my kids to see. I'm going to close that up. I want my husband to see and I want them to feel what I felt when I opened this. This is amazing. All of this. Thank you so, so very much, Lisa. This one. Wow. <laughs> it came today. And today, it was a hard day. Very, very hard day. Thank you, Lisa, so very much. And I will get you a special package. I know you're not asking for it. I know I already sent you one, and I already know I sent you an ATC. I know that. But... But I just want to, okay? So thank you so much. And if you stuck with me, thank you for sticking with me. And thank you, Lisa, so very much. So, so very much. Each and every piece has a meaning in my life. Each and every piece in there. It's amazing how we connect. All of us, how we all interconnect. I have some special things I want to send you to. And thank you, everybody. I have our own. Uh, uh, I have a DIY coming up very soon. I already have the stuff out. It's over here to the side. And if you want to join me, you'll need some glossy accents, some pieces of wood, stamps, stays on. Um, a stamp, no stamps, stays on, and those little pieces of wood. You don't need stays on. You can actually use triple thick because I use triple thick also. And that'll be the next video. And I'll catch you guys later and I'll share with you guys the DIY. Sending love, hugs, and good spirits to you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.